Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to handle multiple windows in Selenium WebDriver with Python. So handling multiple windows in Selenium WebDriver with Python is absolutely simple process. If you have gone through my Selenium with Java tutorials, the concept still remains same. Now, before we get into the actual implementation with Python, I'll explain a brief about what exactly multiple windows are and then how you can basically switch and control the execution on the multiple windows and then come back to the parent window. So before that, let me quickly copy the basic code here and I'll create a file and name it as so Python file and I'll name it as demo multiple windows. Let me paste everything here and remove all the things to here and then I'll name the class rename the class name to demo multiple windows and change the method to demo windows. All right. Now I'll take an example of yatra.com website. So which is the actual live web website, which we are going through and practicing rather than on the dummy application, which will give us more confidence, right? So let me remove the things or the imports that are not required and go to yatra.com and I'll explain you what exactly the multiple windows are. So here on yatra.com, say for example, I launched this particular website and then if you click on this, click here to web check-in, okay? So if I click, on web check and you will see that it is loading a new window here right so it has opened a new tab and then it will open the page for the web check-in all right so this is basically what multiple window will be so say for example i want to test the application and i want to test the web check-in so on the yatra.com website i have a test case that when i click on this web check-in it should open web check-in and then i go on any of these web check-in airlines and I click on the airlines and then go ahead and check in, right? So if I click on the airlines, you'll see it has opened another airline window, right? So now how we will be able to switch to these windows and control the actions or control the execution accordingly on these windows. That's what we are going to learn. And when you are switching to these multiple windows, so like manually, you know that once the window has been launched here, I'll click on this window and it will go there and click on Singapore Airlines. And then I'll click on go to Singapore Airlines and I can start check-in process here. But when your automation script is handling these operations, how would that know? How would your script know that I have to now go to the, the control needs to go to the airline web check-in and then click on Singapore Airlines and then go to check-in page and then do the further actions. Okay. So first thing is on our, in our script, I first need to open yatra.com, right? So I'll just provide the yatra.com. So which will basically, so this, these two lines will open the yatra.com website in the Chrome browser. And I've explained this all in previous tutorials a lot. So if you want to learn the whole sequence, the whole series of Selenium with Python, please follow the whole series. This is, I believe the 80th or 81st video in the series. So there are, there is a lot of videos, the Python series, the Python videos, and the selenium videos so go through and learn in the sequence because it will help you a lot to learn the overall concepts all right so now here after launching this particular website what we need to do is we need to basically click on this web check-in so let me quickly inspect it so right click inspect and i'll quickly open selectors hub and copy the locator okay so let me copy this relative x path and then click on this so i'll say driver dot find element and this is the x path that i have copied so i'll say by dot x path and provide this particular x path okay let me minimize this so that we can see it all clearly and then we want to click on this particular web element right so i'll say dot click and here you can see the error so i need to import this by class so i'll simply click highlight hover over this by and click and then import the class right so just click on import okay so now the error will be gone now then as soon as i'll click on this web check-in it will open a new window 
okay so now manually we know that we have to click on the new tab and then start typing in how would uh, my script know this so we first have to find the handles or the window handles. so in selenium you have the window handles which is nothing but the unique id that is being assigned to each of the window that gets opened in the browser right so selenium gets those handle and then with those unique handles you can you have the methods to basically switch between those windows using the programming logic okay so the first thing is say for example we launch this particular website right so it will launch in a browser and the first thing is we want to get the handle of the parent window so what is the uh, method to get the handle so we simply can say driver dot uh, current so if you say current window handle right so this will give you the window handle for the current window and I can store this current window handle or the parent window handle in a variable so let me define a variable so I can say parent let me say parent underscore handle so that it's clear so parent handle will be stored in this parent handle variable and this driver dot current window handle will return me the uh, the handle for the parent window let's print it uh, print the parent handle on the console so that we can see that uh, see how this handle or the ID window ID looks like okay so we'll print it now the next step we are doing is we are clicking on the banner to web check-in okay as soon as I will click on the banner to web check-in it will open the new window okay now say for example on the new window on the web check-in window here I want to click on Singapore Airlines okay so let me click on inspect and quickly open selectors hub and I'll copy this relative X path to make things quicker and now after clicking on this particular banner if I want to click on the Singapore Airlines so if normally we want to do it so we'll say driver dot find element by and then we'll say X path and then provide the X path there okay so usually it should work right I mean it generally you will think that it should work but ideally it won't because if you correlate your script to the manual steps that you will do your script is missing one step so manually when you click on this particular web check-in right it opens the new window but then you manually click on this airline web check-in so manually you go and click on there and then you click on Singapore Airlines however in this script what you are doing is you are just clicking on the banner and then you are trying to click on the Singapore Airlines so it should fail okay let's see let's run it and make sure that it fails right so I'll create an object of this class so we'll say demo so let me copy this class name and I will say demo multiple windows just define a variable there create an object of this class and then I will call the method that I have created so I'll say demo multiple windows and then demo windows let me quickly run this and see that it's failing and why it will fail because we are not switching to the new window manually we will click on the new window and should click on the Singapore Airlines web check-in so it should open okay so this is a different error this is the error is element is not interactable because we haven't maximized it right so while this page is minimized right you won't be able to see the check-in right so as soon as I you know maximize it then that check-in object or the web element is available right so that is why it hasn't clicked on that web check-in so when we open this particular page we have to make sure that this web check-in will be available when we are we have this page maximized okay so we'll maximize this window first so let me after launching this particular website let me say driver dot maximize window right so this will maximize it let me run again and now we should be getting should launch yatra.com it should maximize this page and then click on web check-in and it has opened this particular web check-in page but then let's go to PyCharm and you can see that it has thrown no such element exception and unable to locate this normalized Singapore Airlines the reason being when the parent page is open right so when the parent page is open if you see that this is the window handle for the parent window this is how the window handle will look like and the reason being why it hasn't moved to the new window is that it the control is still on the parent window even though your 
when when the automation script ran it clicked on this web check-in but the actual control is still on this particular page it hasn't switched to this particular page right same as we do in the manual steps when we click on this web check-in we first have to basically go and click on this tab and then click on you know singapore airlines we have to switch our focus manually right so same thing is happening in the scripts the script is basically having the control on this parent page so we have to switch our focus to the child page so let me close it and now here we first have to switch our focus to the child page how we can do it we have the option to get all the window handles okay so after clicking on this web check-in what we'll do is let's get all the handles that are there so all handles so i'll define a variable all handles and i'll say driver dot window handles okay so window handles will give me all the window handles that are there the all the handles for the windows that are open and this all handles will store all those handles okay so if i print all handles okay so let's say print all handles it should print all the handles so basically it will print the parent handle and then the child window handle right so now we have got all the handles now the next step is to basically switch to the child handle and then click on the child so basically switch on the child handle and then click on the singapore airlines web element so how we can do it so we know that there is a parent handle and as soon as we click on the web check-in there will be a child handle so we can simply write a simple for loop so we can say for handles in all handles right so we know that all handles contain all the handles or all the window handles that are open on the page on the in this particular instance then we are just iterating through the handles in this all handles and then we'll simply use the if condition so we'll say if handles we'll say just handle for handle so if handle you can provide any name here but this looks more readable so i'm just changing it to handle so for handle for handle in all handles and then we are saying if handle is not equal to right so what we are trying to do is if this particular handle is not equal to parent handle okay so that's what we are trying to check then you switch or then switch the control to the to that particular handle which is not equal to the parent handle right so currently there are two windows open so all handles will give me two handles and one of them is the parent handle so if i'll say if the handle is not equal to parent handle so remaining is just one left then switch to that child handle right so that's what we are trying to do here so what this will do is we'll simply say if handle not equal to parent handle then what you do is you just say handle dot or oh, sorry we'll say driver dot switch to right so we have a switch to method and then we'll say driver dot switch to window okay and in the window which window do you want to switch to so we want to switch to the window which is not equal to parent handle right so we'll just provide the handle there all right and then next what we have to do is once we have switched to that particular window then we can simply click on this particular web element because now the control is on this child window right so now this driver will be able to find out this singapore airlines x path or the web element and should be able to click on that particular particular web element so let me put some sleep there okay so that you can see everything properly so let me put a four second sleep and after sleep after this web element has been clicked then we want to basically close this particular window okay so we'll say driver dot close so what this will do is it will close this particular window the child window that has been opened and then let me put another sleep so that you can see that after closing this particular window because as soon as it will click on singapore airlines it will open another third window right so it will if it will open the second window third window will still be open so that's why i'm putting some sleep there so that you can see and let me break out of this loop okay now this is this logic will basically switch to the child window click on a particular web element and then close that child window right now if say for example i have to come back to the parent window now by default it won't switch back to the parent window okay so what we have to do is we have to after this loop we have to basically say we want to switch back to the parent window right so we have to say driver dot and then switch to dot window and where do we want to switch we want to switch to parent window so we'll just provide parent handle there 
right and then on the parent window say for example how we'll make sure that it has actually switched to the parent window let me click on this check-in again right so this particular check-in is available on the parent window this web element so let me click on that particular web element again so before that let me comment this out that without switching to the parent window i'm trying to click on the web element which is on the parent window let's see whether it will work or not okay so let me run this and see everything is working as expected so it will open yatra.com it should maximize the page then it will click on the web check-in it will switch focus to the child page and it has been really quick so let me let me go back let's see what has happened there okay so it has given me both the windows that's fine and then here it has not been able to looks like it hasn't been okay so it has failed here right so let me it has switched to this particular window and then i oh, okay so i haven't clicked here you you will see that it has i have switched to this particular child window but i haven't clicked on this particular web element so let me click so that it will open a new window okay so after opening the new window it will sleep for four seconds then it will close the child window and then come back to the parent window and in the uh, no it, it won't come back to the parent window because we are we are not switching back and it should throw me the same error right so you'll see that it won't be able to no such window target window already closed because the focus was on the child window and the window was closed here we have closed it already right and we haven't switched back the focus to the parent window and here we are trying to click on that particular web element so let me run it again and show this so opening yatra.com will maximize the page click on web check-in and now it should open singapore airlines now the second window that you see web check-in will close yep and check-in still open right because we haven't switched the control to the check-in window and i think it has failed right so no such window because we are not switching back to the parent window we have commented that out okay so let me uncomment this particular line out and now we want to switch back to the parent handle parent window and then again click on the web check-in so it should work perfectly fine this time so if i run this again you will find that there won't be any error it will maximize the page click on web check-in go to singapore airlines and then close the child window and then it will switch back to the parent window right and you can see that there are no errors being displayed okay so this is basically how you can handle multiple windows or how you will be able to switch between the windows and do the actions within selenium web driver with python now, as part of this tutorial, I would like to give you a brief assignment so that you can go ahead and practice. So say, for example, in this case, we were handling this parent window and then we are clicking web check-in. It was opening this web check-in window. Now we were clicking on the Singapore Airlines and it's opening another child window so what your assignment is go ahead and practice switching to this third window and then type in something some some name there in this particular passport family name okay just type in anything there and then close this particular window right close the second window and come back to the parent window and click on this click here to web check-in again okay so this will give you a very good understanding and practice how to handle multiple windows in selenium web driver with python so i hope this was a helpful tutorial thank you very much for watching